Vegas is adult Disneyland. All right. What do you mean by that? What are you getting at? I just want to play the first video. Okay. Is that tie into today's show? Running around the desert in Las Vegas, looking for strippers and cocaine. I hope the hell they find, when they do the autopsy, that there's a tumor in his head or something. Because if they don't, we're all in trouble. And whatever happened to him in his head that made him go over the edge like this, I mean, once again, and maybe we'll never know. I don't know. But we, I mean, I'm praying. I mean, and even, there's no, so he lost $4 million, so Mary Lou broke up with him. That, that's not even... That, that wouldn't even do it for Steve because he'd go on. That's why this not keeping going, there was something that happened to Steve that I, I'm not even trying to excuse anything or anything, but something happened that drove him into the pit of hell. It's, it's you know, the, the bug in the yeah. put on a Steve suit and went and did this. I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I I know I am that I am. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. What's going on, D? What's up, Joseph? How's uh how's life treating you? Life is good, man. Life is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh Friday night we dropped uh a new episode of a new series on this channel called Don't Listen to Dan. Kids do seem Guala like bears some way. have you heard each of other post nut clarity. I train all year for things. If I put a rice machine in my ass if it will mushroom the baby <laughs> consume as much like food as possible. Sexual predator ripping each other. Bang, clap, clap. They are yeah. they are riddled with yeah. uh syphilis. That'd be the worst rabbit, dude. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Flash girls nah. back there. You're like, look, I'm, I'm exposing the royal family. If you go, if you go to Australia, don't get raped by a civilized like, Those are our only options these Shut days. up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> uh, something's wrong with you, man. <laughs> so I'm posting it. I'm like, uh, go, go watch this, but don't listen to him. But go listen to him. But don't. <laughs> Anyway, it was funny. It just, it, 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 you know, it, your little rant, rant on uh, coffee and fast food. All right. Yeah, you know, a little, little, little sprinkle of uh, what's going on upstairs. <laughs> usually, usually isn't there. much, <laughs> but uh, sometimes. Come on, there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay. I like the new podcast, man. Studio. I like you like it. this? Good. It's very, it's, pretty- uh, it's very Vegasy, very uh, neon lightsy, and if you could yeah. go fucking blow your money in one place, where would it be? Vegas. Yeah, exactly. You're fucking Vegas free. Vegas. Yeah. Well, it's fun over there, man. It's adult Disneyland. It's adult Dis. Say that again. Adult Disneyland. No, no, no. What is adult Disneyland? Vegas is adult Disneyland. All right. What do you mean by that? What are you getting at? I just want to play the first video. Okay. All right. Is that tie into today's show? Huh? The word incompetence has been brought forward, and I am absolutely offended with that characterization. It's so poorly done. It's so poorly done. I have a hard time thinking it's just negligence. The entire thing was one big cover-up. And they got away with it because the mainstream media dropped the story almost immediately and officials stopped giving press conferences to avoid having to answer any of the public's questions about any of the glaring inconsistencies, conflicting witness statements, or explain any of the other shootings that occurred on the strip that night that went against the FBI's lone gunman narrative that for whatever reason they were set on from the very beginning despite all the obvious evidence to the contrary. Not one guy did not do all this. There is no way. Motherfucker still ringing out right now. What is that? Okay, babe, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's- what? I heard distant gunfire and close gunfire. Hmm. But there was only. But there was only one. There was only one shooter up in the up in the fifty seventh floor. I know there was um one video being recorded right there. So how would they get yeah. the two separate oh, volumes yeah. and distant? Okay, okay. Sounds like some gunfire is closer. I don't know. I don't know. 
Sometimes. Oh, it's like ventriloquism for guns. Oh, damn, dude. Do you got do you do you, do you have uh, that technology? Did you add that to your uh, Annie Oakley? No, no. I want I want them to know her. No, I don't. I'm gonna get us. Never mind. I want them to know <clears throat> she's coming. <laughs> yeah, you fucking tell her, Joe. <laughs> All right. All right, here's a mysterious uh, thing that happened during the concert. It is the nail in the coffin for this whole narrative. But before we get into that, let me show you a little bit of this footage that we've all seen. This this mainstream footage that was brought out as soon as the shooting happened uh, from a cell, someone's cell phone from within the crowd on the day. So let's let's have a look at that. How things happen, right? Now, as we can see there, the song's playing for a little bit, and then the gunshots start raining out over the crowd. And then people start reacting to it. Or maybe is that not what happened at all? Now I'm going to show you some footage that wasn't made mainstream. I really wonder why. Why they start running before they need um, to be running? You know what I mean. Maybe the I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the sound the there's a maybe the video or the sound on the video wasn't added up with the wasn't synced up. Maybe it wasn't timed correctly. Maybe. All good theories. That's what I do. Okay. The blatant disrespect. Uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> the blatant disrespect. I'm sorry. Okay. I accept it. Let's move on. Okay. I really don't see anybody actually injured. I really don't see anybody actually injured. Get down. Get down, hon. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna shoot you and then what? It can't be that. You just want to do. You just want to. <laughs> There, there's a problem with that. that. That's not. That's not gunshots. It's something else. It's not gunshots. It sounds like it, but a gunshot is totally but different. Did somebody get wounded?
just tapped into the sound system. There's no hits. Somebody just tapped into the sound system. There's no hits. Nowhere. It's a sound system. It's a sound system. What you think so far? And that Trump thing we'll get to at the very end of part two, probably. It's a lot of uh, people not believing it, right? A lot of people yeah. saying that's not a gun. Uh, the the good thing I mean is there's no flashes. Yeah. Hmm. And those are people in the crowd while it's happening. It's not like they thought about it later on, and you know what I mean. A lot of people probably don't actually know what gunshots sound like though in real life and not like that but those are people in vegas yeah they're there for a concert though you know? yeah yeah you right i don't know i'm 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 not sold on it all right i keep there, here's the thing there's something fishy like there we all know that uh there's yeah. you know but <clears throat> to say that there wasn't somebody actually shooting i'm not sure yet um, not getting at that nobody was actually shooting. I'm getting at that nobody was shooting from that window. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, this is uh, agents going into the the hotel room. Okay. Body cam footage? Yep. Wait. Now the fire alarm goes off, but not when a thousand rounds were getting shot off in the room. Weird, but okay. Let's see if there's anything else weird going on. What about you not have a broken window? Well, no, there's several rooms here. Okay. Do you remember? One window, right over the right door. Right where that, that curtain is, right by the door. Right. Okay. Stand by. We've got curtains open on a window that's not. Wait, what? The officer is standing right where the broken window should be, and he can't find it? Shouldn't he literally be stepping and crunching down on hundreds of shell casings and broken glass, according to LVPD's crime scene photos? And why are the curtains damaged to hell in the pics, 
but look perfectly fine in that video. And for the record, this particular can't find the broken window footage was edited out when mainstream media outlets like the Associated Press aired the footage. Why? What's going on here? I can find footage of the very few times shots were fired out of 134, but I'll be damned if I'm able to find footage of muzzle fire coming from 135 anywhere. Metro 5's helicopter was also unable to find the broken window on their first sweep. I've sat through the footage myself and weirdly enough, I can't find it either. It does magically appear on helicopter cam after 11.56 and instantly blatantly visible by morning, but those moments in between not seeing it and seeing it are censored out of Metro Helicopter's footage from that night. Why? To make it even more interesting, a 911 call would come in from a man staying below paddock complaining about hearing an explosion going off and hearing glass fall outside his window at 11.32. Got a question here. I'm, uh, so I just checked into Mandalay Bay, and I'm on the 21st floor, and, and I just heard a it, what sounded like a um, explosion above me, and then glass coming down around me, or you know, right outside the window. So, either someone set a charge up to blow out the window at the same time they breached 134, so they could claim they got the shooter, and you know, calm the public, and that's how the curtains get ruined and glass gets everywhere. Or the charge from breaching 134 shook a big enough chunk of glass loose, making a hard to notice slightly broken window now more visible and obvious, which for some reason shooting a thousand rounds out of didn't shake anything loose off earlier. This is why we, the taxpayers, pay for body cams. What do you think about that? Fucking weird. <clears throat> How the fuck's he shooting out a window that ain't broken? And I don't know if you know this, but every time I've ever stayed in a hotel room in Vegas... You can't open that motherfucking window to save your life. Ever been to a Vegas hotel where you can open the window, D? Yes. Cosmopolitan. Open the window, not the sliding glass door. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm bougie. I get a balcony. What do you want me to do? He didn't shoot out of a balcony. He shot out of a window. I know. I know what you're saying. Try to, try to fucking play devil's advocate and shit with me. I don't think so. Yeah, it's weird, dude. Maybe they were on the wrong floor. You think they were on the wrong floor? Maybe. No, that was the... Supposedly the dead guy was laying there right next to them. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Did you notice how in the pictures the, the curtains weren't all, all, all fucking jacked up? Or, or in, that vi in the video, the curtains weren't jacked up, but in the pictures the next day, the curtains are all messed up because of the fucking explosion? Hmm. They don't know what they're doing when they do this shit. It's so retarded. Like, hire real experts. Don't use your idiot fucking Illuminati, fellow Illuminati members. Because they're morons, just like you. I'm talking to them. You think by now they would be good at this, though? <laughs> they're not. They're, they're getting... Fight. Bro. I can't even say they're getting... Even they're getting more worse as it goes along because once you actually look into fucking September 11th, mm. holy fuck, dude, that's a comedy show of errors. I mean, we went through it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Where are the cops at? I'm right here by the porch at Mandalay Bay and everything just seems to be normal here. Now watch this. What's going to happen is you're going to get 10 seconds of gunfire and then the dispatcher, who's supposed to be in a different building across town, is going to answer her question. He shouldn't know that this gunfire is taking place. I mean, as it's happening, real time. Like, she asks a question, he should answer it, right? He doesn't, why would he know to pause for the exact 10 seconds that the gunfire takes place? You know, if he's actually answering through CB, he's not going to hear all the gunfire and wait for it to pass. How else, how would he know when to, to answer the question? You see, now watch what happens. She asks the question. Then there's a perfect duration of gunfire, and then he answers it. That's scripted. That is 100% scripted. Otherwise, he would be answering her question with the gunfire playing in the background, and you'd never hear the answer. So let's listen carefully to the answer that he gives her, because this is the entire dead giveaway that this entire video is fake. Here comes the answer as soon as the fire stops. There you go. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and whatever seems to be normal is not. There's the answer. 
That's a weird. That's weird. And he wasn't. He wasn't supposed to be in the vicinity to hear the fire, but he waited for the fire to stop, like he knew what was going on. Could have had a drum. Oh. There you go. Drum clip holds 100. <laughs> Not any that I've disclosed. That have been disclosed. Mm. Here comes the answer as soon as the fire stops. comes the answer as soon as the fire stops. <laughs> Holy Moses! the answer as soon as the fire stops. Here comes the answer as soon as the fire stops. Nelly. Even though he can't see. Here comes the answer as soon as the fire stops. Here comes the answer as soon really. as the fire stops. <laughs> Ooh, that gas tube is freaking cooking, dude. And that's why you don't hold the barrel. <laughs> heard something being played over the speakers. As the eyewitness videos show you, they, they, they duck down and they say it's firecrackers, or some people say, it doesn't sound like real gunfire, or it's over the over speakers. You have real people who took this footage and their videos are getting taken down too, okay? So mm. we have to wonder, how come the people who are at the drive-through here at Mandalay Bay or the Portico, how come they're not running for their lives? Why? The very simple answer is the gunshot you're hearing in this video is audio dubbed over. Only people who hear it are the audience because we're hearing a dubbed version. 
What you think, bud? I don't know, man. It's weird. It's weird, but I like it. No, I don't like it. Mm. But I like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, just keep going, man. Just keep going. Just keep going, man. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so kind of went through how it's not him shooting out the window and stuff like that. No um, broken window, but, no shells all over the ground. I never said there was an actual fire. Right. Just for some reason, I just knew it was coming out of that helicopter. But I was so unbelievably certain that it was coming from the helicopter. Yes, we have all kinds of help on the way, okay? Everything's going to be okay. We're getting officers out there. Okay. Well, you're going to need officers on the, on the sky because he's flying in a helicopter. Do you think he's in a helicopter? Yes. I almost felt like there was a helicopter above us shooting. It was so bizarre, like a war sound. Um, There's an active shooter on the airport. Uh, this is a blanket broadcast for all aircraft. Uh, just a heads up. Hey, yes, we need police. Mark, uh, this is a uh, Skid Flamingo. We just got a call right now saying shots fired in the back parking lot, employee mm-hmm. parking lot area. You know, just so uh-huh. you know, we when we had got before the shots fired, we uh-huh. did have a guest who brought a gun to officers out near valet. So it was a gun found also near the valet entrance. This is fucking crazy. There's a shooter in front of the hallway. Guys, guys, you guys got to walk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right across from the airy sign, and there are somebody going that shit crazy with a gun on the bridge right across from the airy uh, sign. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, dude. Paris? Yeah. They said the bottom of Delano, the, the casino level of the Delano. Delano. And, uh, Every RPG fucking casino there. Gunmen right? with, um, look like AR-15 type rifles coming around the corner. We were given no answers. We were given no motive. Confused people woke up the next day to find the news focused only on Paddock and the concert, with no reporting by the news of anything else that happened on the strip that night. Night. And I know damn well I heard a gunshot inside this building. We thought so too. Yeah. And then it never got covered. How can that be? No one ever talked about it. Did you yeah. hear it? Yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, How many did you hear? I heard here. two. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And then we saw people running. Yeah, Fine. for sure. Right. But from talking to people, no one knew where the bullets were coming from. They were just flying all over the place. And so that, that is the truth. The next day, I mean, but we were the like people talking about after the shots yeah. shot for them. Oh, after, yeah. yes. I saw cases right here, right around here. So there were beer cans, there were empty drink cups, and there were maybe a dozen, really, brass, inch and a half, two inch tubes, spread out, as if someone was shooting right here. Yeah, I mean, they weren't like, they weren't in a pile, they weren't in a bunch, they weren't touching each other, they were spread out. Huh. So, yeah. I walked over to, I walked over by the Tropicana, I found bullets. Uh, it was still some on the ground. Duh. I'm in the parking lot. Duh. I walked over to the Tropicana park. Well, the parking lot. Right, going back, they made their triage, right, almost by the door. All the door. So, I assume that they were all together. Yeah, yeah, they were all together. Yeah, they were all together. down at a slot machine inside of Planet Hollywood. Now, I hear gunfire over the sound of the casino more gunfire much closer i would estimate it had to be within a half block people are 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 starting to pour in so i go to the cashier he looks at the time stamp whatever and so he asked me were you here with all that that went down last night i said yeah he said what happened and so i told him briefly he looks at the cashier next to him he said i told you 
So she looks back at him and says, well, why are they telling you guys not to say so? He was like, I don't know. I didn't say so. She did. Pointing at me. So from that, I gathered that the employees that were even there at the time were threatened to keep their damn mouth shut. Period. A whole lot of stuff went down. And almost none of it is being reported on mainstream news. Almost none of it. No explanation was ever given about any of the other shots heard, casings found, guns found, helicopters that weren't supposed to be there, or any other gunmen seen across the strip that night. The LVPD simply wrote it off like nothing happened, which also meant they weren't pulling footage or actively investigating any of it either. To this day, it has been a constant uphill battle with law enforcement for even the most simplest of answers about the shooting. It's weird, man. They, yeah. they're, ma- they're making it seem like the, maybe somebody was in a helicopter shooting and casings were just being found randomly throughout Vegas. Well, there was also shooters inside casinos and multiple casinos <clears throat> in Hollywood, Delano, Caesars. That's so strange. So there was a huge, something was going on that night that they don't want anybody to know about. So they created some bullshit mass tragedy while other people are actually getting harmed away from what the, the staged event is. Hmm. <clears throat> still believe the mainstream narrative i usually don't <laughs> yeah. for most things that's good you're smart you're smart i'm gonna keep going there are still Here's many questions all with right no answers videos from the event show no muzzle flash from paddock's window on the 32nd floor of the mandalay bay hotel Photographs show that Paddock's windows were intact during the shooting. Police inside the room after the shooting said there was no broken window. window. There also appears to be muzzle flashes coming from the sky on both sides of the Mandalay Bay, precisely where flight radar places three helicopters that turned off their transponders minutes before the shooting began while hovering in position overlooking the Route 91 Harvest Festival. He's flying in a helicopter. You think he's in a helicopter? Yes. Not a doubt in my mind that there was shooting coming from the helicopter. In room 32135, Paddock's hard drive was suspiciously missing from his laptop. There were several pairs of gloves, mobile phones, and multiple hotel room keys used just 30 minutes before the shooting including smart keys, available only to hotel staff. At first, police said they witnessed Paddock kill himself, and then they claimed they found him dead after the breach. More suspicious shit. Yeah. It's fucking weird, man. Yeah. Window wasn't broken from the outside. They said the window wasn't broken when they were in the inside. A guy said that... An explosion caused glass to shatter out the window. <laughs> People saying it didn't sound like gunshots when the when the concert gunshots were going off. People are hearing other gunshots in other casinos, seeing people with rifles. Muzzle flash coming from the sky. It doesn't sound like an AR-15. Teen. Sounds like something else. Maybe a fucking what are those guns that people use in helicopters? Those are those AR-15s. Those are like Gatling guns. Machine guns, yeah. 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 So, uh, here's another uh, someone going through the sound uh, comparison. Machine guns. Yeah. Definitely. And and what what did they try to pass? It was like HR nine nine nine. They uh, tried the to ban bump, bump, bump stocks. Bump stocks. Yeah. Because of this event, except 
Sounds like a machine gun that they recorded. All they do is record an AR. Like, they don't... They don't think when they do shit. That there's professionals out there that will debunk the shit out of them. Out of their official narrative. It's wild, bro. You can see him coming from the helicopter. As an exercise by door gunners out of a military helicopter overhead, one may clearly hear the shots of the belt fed machine guns, likely M60, M230, as well as see the muzzle fire light up in contrast against the night sky. He's at Mandalay Bay right now. It seems like it's coming from up there. Oh, right. All right, I'm out of here. So he saw somebody on the fucking, like, fourth floor shooting. It's making no sense. I find it weird that they would do all this just to try and ban bump stocks. Uh, that was just, I think that's just a bonus. Uh, at the end of part two, um, there's another theory on what was going on. Yeah, something in the government they didn't want us to know about, I'm, I'm sure. Yo. Just a guess. I had a hunch. Government is lying to you about everything. Like they lost a bunch of money or something or, you know. Choose what happens when these things happen. Yeah. Oops, we lost $17 billion. We lost something important, that's for sure. Credibility? Dignity? They don't they'll talk about... They'll talk about Sandy Hook. They'll talk about Parkman. No, I know. Every school shooting no, I know. About all day long. They'll never talk about the largest mass shooting in history. And I'm just to be totally blunt with you. I mean, I expended so much mental energy and as noted, I'm no genius, but I really did try my sincere best because it smelled wrong. And I very often have no idea what the truth is, but I can spot a lie at 100 yards. And that story was covered in lies. Well, you know, covered in lies. You know what it is? You know what it is, too? It's, it's gun guys, right? Guys who understand firearms, guys who go shooting or have had like a modicum of military training. They look at those pictures and they and they listen to the sound. Right, guys who've been on the range, and I said this a day of, I said, that doesn't sound like a bump stock to me. I agree. No, that sounds like a belt-fed... I totally agree with you, and I am a gun guy, like, and a lot of that didn't make sense at all. Because there's a distinct... It's, a, it's like a rat-tat-tat sound. Right. Like, I've heard it a million times. You're not going to tell me I didn't hear that. Yeah, so I don't know, and also... I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I'm no, no, saying, you're not putting yeah, the yeah, spot yeah, at yeah. all. I'm fascinated by the story, and but the official account of where his body was found, at what point it was found... There are about 15 data points in the story that are clearly untrue. What no, is true, I don't know. No, which one hangs me up? What? Why does he stop shooting? Well, I agree. There's so much... Plenty of ammo, plenty of guns. So I will say this about X, and this is one of my, big, my biggest problems with it. There's too much truth. And if you discover, especially if you're my age and you kind of... My dad worked for the government, and including the intel agencies, and you sort of believe in our system and we're fighting the Soviets and we're obviously on the right side, and we were on the right side of that fight. Sounds nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it sounds exactly. Like it sounds nice. But to discover in a six-year period, really all at once, that all the institutions you believed in and all the popular history that you accepted as true is a lie, and that the people you thought were the good guys are actually the drivers of a lot of the world's evil and certainly the, most of the chaos in the world, it's like a lot to take. I'm just being honest. It's a lot to take. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I try to be unflinching, and I have a total sincere dedication to telling the truth. But, man, the toll it takes to... Yeah, he ain't lying, bro. The toll it takes... Yeah, dude. Going Every, from I, I, I got deep into all this shit like the end of 2019, and you know I was going through. It, it was hard in the beginning. Now it's like it's obvious to me now, and yeah. nothing really phases me anymore. The more shit I learn, the less phased I am. So yeah, yeah, it, it it definitely gets to you. That's for sure. 
And that's what, dude, that's why most people don't believe the shit that's going on because they're comfortable in their little bubble and they don't want to leave the comfort. Right. People don't want to be uncomfortable. And that's what changed my life is being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm grateful uh, uh, I have a distraction every day from from this bullshit, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> shout, out, shout out my job. Still love you. Even though you frustrate the shit out of me, I still love going to work now. So, Hey, Jab, can't wait to leave you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have coworkers that definitely watch this show. Too. <laughs> um, um, I don't think anybody I work with watches this show, but, you know, uh, that's in, that's how you know I actually do love my job <laughs> because I'm not pandering to the audience. There you go. Eh, sometimes. No. <laughs> nope. Right. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> fuck them. Uh, so we have a lot more left, but we are going to save it for uh, next week. Thank you. I pre- thank you, Joe. Can I just say I appreciate all the hard work you do putting this shit together? Do you every week? I do. I do. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you like your intro for your for your new show? <laughs> uh, I got a lot of feedback on it. A lot of people think that I'm crazy. People think that um, it was kind of confusing. They didn't know what to, how to take it. Um, yeah. But you talking about the whole episode? No, no, no. Just, oh, the just intro. Intro. But if you if you've watched this show, yeah, you know where a lot of that comes from. Yeah, most of it is from that actually. Oh, I think all of it's from it. But uh, it's really funny. I thought it was great. But uh, just like Kanye loves him some Kanye, Dan loves him some Dan. So yeah. Obviously, if you've watched this show, you know that already. He's obsessed with himself. I think I'm great. And my mom probably might, probably used to think so. No, she thinks you're great. Oh, thanks, mom. Amy thinks you're great. Thanks, mom. Love you. Okie dokie. All right. We'll uh, we'll catch you next week. She she says I'm handsome, too. You are handsome. Yeah. And your mom, your mom is a lovely lady. Thank you. Hear hey. that, Amy? She know, she knows. I think. Probably. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, see you next week. Godspeed. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information, and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. There's no point in discussing this. You guys are both stupid. There's like 60 people that died. There's thousands of people watching it that were there that seen the shit happen with their own two eyes. There's one guy with fucking machine guns. There wasn't machine guns and snipers going off at the same time. It was just a bunch of different machine guns. There really is no conspiracy. The guy was a millionaire who had a shit ton of guns and a fucked up head and he had the ability to get the best fucking spot in a crowded place. It's kind of like going to Africa and paying for a hunting trip and they just put you in front of a thousand fucking of whatever you're trying to shoot, but you're 30 stories up in the air and they're all fucking caged in small venue. They're kind of in a conspiracy. It's just fucked up person.